Hi, and thank you for joining me. Today's video will be an angel pick a card reading to help you get clarity when dealing with your angels. Hello, this is your angel reading to help you gain clarity in how to work with your angels. So clarity, it could, this could relate to a specific problem that you're already having. Clarity about just how to connect with your angels. Clarity about you and where what your relationship is with your angels. Clarity in general. So I'm going to connect with your angels and bring you in messages that will bring you clarity. All right, so I want you to study each of the stones. The first stone is the green calcite. It's a lovely green. I absolutely love this stone. That's the green calcite, very healing. And then we have the orange selenite, also a very lovely stone relating to the sacral chakra, the beautiful orange color. And then we have the honey calcite, which is for also for clarity. So there we go. Those are your three stones. So just take a moment and look at them. Pile number one, pile number two, pile number three. All right, here we go with the readings. First reading is the green calcite. All right, so, so we have the seven of pentacles, the three of wands, and the lovers. So this is an interesting one for those of you who picked the green calcite. We start off with the seven of pentacles and she's contemplating her crop and just trying to determine, is it time to harvest? Should I let them go a while longer? And these are actually pentacles. They're not an actual fruit, but she's deciding how to handle it and how far to go with it. If she leaves them on the vine too long, they will rot. If she picks them too soon, they will never quite get ripe. So you have to think about your actions and what you want to accomplish and what your end goal is you may need to be patient a little while longer. And the next card is also saying you need to plan things out very carefully. The man is standing on a ridge and he has his foot up on part of the precipice as if he was almost ready to walk over or jump over it. The three wands represent that you have begun the idea, which is the ace, the first wand. You have put together your resources and figured out what to do. That's the second wand. And the third one is actually implementing your act, your plan, your design. But again, you do need to think about what the end goal is and not go too quickly so that you kind of trip over yourself and mess it up. The third card is the lovers. And the lovers definitely talks about consequences and actions. So the, this is representing Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden and they are taking that first bite of the apple. Now it looks like Eve is pushing the apple away, but as we know, she does take a bite of the apple and so does Adam. And this means that they immediately understand the ramifications of their actions and they realize that they made a mistake or they think they made a mistake. What the lover says is that this gives you the perspective of understanding the other, someone who is not you or me, the other. So in the contemplation of your actions and the desire of what you want in the future, definitely think about what will happen once you begin taking these actions because you need to understand. So I was confused by this because I wanted to give you clarity about your relationship with the angels, what you were doing with the angels. And so I picked a fourth card and this was the Page of Swords. And the Page of Swords says to keep your wonderment and childlike awe. Understand that yes, your actions have consequences, 
but they may be amazing. They may be wonderful. So unlike the lovers where they are thinking, oh, what we did was wrong, they could also see this in another way and see that, oh, there is an other, there is another way to be and revel in the awe and amazement of this new world that they have just discovered. So some of this speaks to fear, fear of the other or fear of what's to come, fear of the consequences. And if we deal only with fear, the fear will become bigger and bigger and ultimately uh, control us. So we don't want to deal with fear. Your, one of your oracle cards says, surrender and release. Surrender the fear, let go of the fear. Release yourself into the future possibilities of what you can attain with your abilities and resources and with your designs and plans. You may be, be able to attain great things and even bigger than you ever thought. The next card is interesting, it says music. So this is telling you that if you dive into music, use music for inspiration. Perhaps you're not a person who particularly resonates to meditating all the time, but music is something most people can readily access and they usually have a favorite kind of music or favorite songs or a favorite artist. So listen to the music and allow that to help you move along. Now, these last two cards sort of argue with each other. One of them says, clear yourself, ask the angels to release any toxic energies that you may have absorbed. But the last card says, the blocks are lifted. Previous obstacles came from fear and they are now lifted away. So if there is anything else that is blocking you, then I want you to ask Archangel Michael to clear those blocks from your path, from your life, from your body, from your psyche, from your heart, from your soul, and allow you to move forward in the future with all your goals and plans. And to retain that childlike wonder about the amazing things that you see or that you can create. So I hope that gives you some clarity about working with your angels understand that sometimes messages are going to be confusing or even conflicting as in the case of these last two cards they're a little bit conflicting but they do work together fears that were released allowed those blocks to be lifted if you feel anything else blocked ask Archangel Michael to help you release it and that's just a simple prayer and better yet if you can get music that inspires you use that too. All right, so that is the angel reading for the people who picked the green calcite. Now we're going to be going on to the orange selenite. All right, now this is the reading for those of you who picked the orange selenite, this beautiful stone. And I have three cards from uh, the influence of the angels. Then I have a healing with the angels uh, card. Then I have the angel therapy card. And finally, the Archangel Gabriel Oracle card. So this card is pretty self-explanatory. Right now, you are working under false beliefs. You're working under the belief that you need to defend everything about your life. You are defending your actions, your choices, your job, your marriage if you're in one, your house, the way you dress, everything. And because of that, you are coming from a place of lack. You're feeling different. You're feeling like other people have things that you do not have. Oh, this is so interesting. There's a little baby angel up in the corner here that has like black wings around it. Hold on, let me see what they say about that. Okay, I don't know if you can see this. I'm going to hold this up as close as I can. You see the baby in the corner? With that black, like, wings around it. That is so weird. They don't even mention it in the guidebook, but that baby with the black wings is looking down on them. Anyway, 
So what's going on with this is that you are feeling lack. You are operating out of a sense of everybody else has stuff that I don't have and it's making me feel disheartened, discouraged, depressed, and like uh, a victim. Like, you know, it's not fair, like life isn't fair. This is not a great place to be operating from and the angels don't want you to feel this. The angels want you to ask for what you want and they will help you achieve it. In fact, the next card, Knight of Pentacles, is showing that if you ask for what you want, you can achieve anything. But you need to ask for help or help ask for, um, you know, I need to get more education or I need to have a better place to live or I need my car to get fixed or I need friends or I need uh, to have this disease cured. If you ask for help from the angels, you will get it. And also, the more you ask and then things are received, the, the less you will need to operate from a sense of lack. This is an illness operating from a sense of lack. Try, try, try to stop just defending everything that you're doing and release those things. You don't need to keep doing those things. What you do need to do is to love yourself and to believe in yourself, believe that you can do these things. And sometimes that's very hard for people and that's why the angels are there to help you. We all have angels around us from the moment of our birth, angels that can help us with uh, different things. At different times in your lives you will have different kinds of angels. When you're looking for a new job, you'll have job angels. When you're looking, when you're, where you're in school and you're struggling with education, you'll have education angels. You'll have angels who are specialists in whatever it is that you need at that moment in your life. And then you have the one main guardian angel that stays with you your whole life. So angels can specialize and they can help you to improve your life tremendously. That's what this Knight of Pentacles is all about. It's the slow and steady knight. It's the person who can achieve things with persistence and determination. And that's what you can do too. Now, the oracle card that we got from Healing with the Angels just says healing. So you do need a healing. So anytime you have the opportunity to get free healing, get it. There may be healings at spiritualist churches. There may be healings via readers on YouTube. There may be healings just by listening to beautiful music. There may be healings by spending time in meditation and prayer and talking to your angels. So any way that you can get in connection with your angels and get some healing going, ask for it. Now, the oracle card here from um, Angel Therapy says, Goddess, express your divine feminine energy. The fact that you picked the orange selenite is very significant because this stone, orange selenite, is connected to the sacral chakra, which is connected to the divine feminine. It's our womb. And for men, it's your hora. It's, it's, the, um, re it's the creative and uh, fertility chakra in our bodies. So the fact that you, are express you need to express your divine feminine and embrace its magical intuition and nurturing qualities, you're reaching out to do that very thing by choosing this orange stone. So beautiful, beautiful for you. Let me see what else they have to say about the goddess card. Within every woman are three parts of the goddess, maiden, the inner child, at times pure and at other times adventurous or bold, mother, which are the nurturing qualities, and matriarch, or I would call them the crone, the teacher. Men have analogous inner qualities of the lad, the dad, and the patriarch. It's important to express each of these three parts daily. This helps to balance playfulness with work and relationships. Spend time each day expressing all three characteristics and notice how much more energized and balanced you feel. And I know that's really, really true. If you just make a concerted effort, and it doesn't have to be, it's not like you have to split up your day into three parts and do it for hours and hours, but just touching on those things a little bit, taking your mind off of your work and doing something playful for a few minutes is incredibly healing and balancing for you. And then the last card is from the Gabriel Oracle deck, and it says, ask for what you want, clear
clear communication with yourself, with God, and uh, with others helps you avoid misunderstandings and speeds up the process of answered prayers. So take that to heart. I'm going to read about this one. This card comes to you because God, Archangel Gabriel, and all the angels know your heart's desire, yet also respect your free will choices. Heaven is waiting for you to be clear about your desires and to ask for them to be fulfilled. You may be reluctant because of fears of making the wrong choice, yet being stuck in indecision is, in itself, a decision to have your life stay as it presently is. Asking for what you want means taking a risk yourself and believing in your ability to help others through your creative work. And again, this stone relates to the creative chakra. You can add this or something better, God, as a way of ensuring that you have not asked for too little. After all, God desires that all his children be well cared for. And she couches it in very, very Christian terms. I would just say that the universe wants you to be extremely happy and fulfilled in this lifetime, even if you are here living a lifetime that's difficult. Even if you are here living a lifetime where you have tremendous lessons to learn, you can still be a balanced human being. In fact, you'll learn your lessons quicker if you are a balanced human being. So don't settle for this sense of lack and this difficult life. Shed that. Try to get in touch. Ask Archangel Michael for help just to get started. And then get on your path to achieving what you really want. And you, you know, you don't have to, you know, climb Mount Everest. You can achieve things that are very, very doable and achievable in your life, and it will make you feel amazing. So ask for what you want. Make sure that you are the goddess of your life. Ask your angels for help at any time. They are always there for you. And I'm sure things will begin to be relieved, and you will feel much better very, very soon. And that scary baby angel thing will get out of the card, too. So that, that's your reading for the people who chose the Orange Selenite Heart. Best of luck to you and all of your endeavors. And now on to the Honey Calcite Heart. Alright, this is the reading for those of you who picked the yellow or honey calcite. I love this stone and it, 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 it in itself gives a lot of clarity. And now let's look at the cards. So for the tarot cards we have the Emperor. And this card says for you to be confident of your choices. Be aware that you have made choices, they're your choices, and own them. You know, stick with your choices, they're your choices, don't back down. You are the emperor of your life. It does show, though, that at this period of time, you're in a bad place. You're in a difficult place. You're experiencing anxiety and difficulty. You're not sure of which way to go. So you're not very confident or happy with your choices, but it could be that your choices are okay, but you're in a very bad spot. You also have the Five of Cups. And this shows that you're depleted. You're just completely, completely depleted of emotional energy and energy in general. You could actually be experiencing an illness of some kind. Now, the Nine of Swords indicates sleepless nights or anxiety about a situation over which you have no control. So, taking these two together, I would say that you need to be very, very careful that you are in the best of health. Maybe you do want to seek out help from a professional. However, in the Five of Cups, we have to note that there are two cups in the card that are upright, the one on the window ledge and the one by her elbow. Can you see that? There we go. Okay, so there is hope but you're so depleted at this point that it's very hard for you to feel hopeful and alter to see what is hopeful. So these cards were so strong. I just wanted to pick another card just to make sure that you could see the light at the end of the tunnel. 
And indeed, this card is very, very hopeful. The Knight of Wands is an action card. It usually represents a fire sign. This first card, the Emperor, also represents a fire sign. Actually, Aries. But if you're any of the fire signs, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, then this is hopeful. And if you're not a fire sign, then this means that the Knight of Wands is representing somebody in your life who is going to help you and be your champion. So notice there is a boat in the background of this picture that shows that there's things on the horizon, that the future is bright, that your, your enterprises are moving forward in a global way, in a big way. And knights always indicate action, as do horses in the angel cards. So I just want you to know that you do have the ability to move forward, that your plans and your choices were not wrong. What's wrong right now is that you're experiencing either an illness or so much anxiety that it's making you ill. Um, and so you need to find a way out of that. And with that, the clarity that I bring you is that you can ask your angels for assistance with this. You should also ask professionals for assistance with this. But there's nothing wrong with also asking angels to lift the burden and lift your mood and allow you to feel confident allow you to realize that the choices that you made as the emperor were, were good and productive and then before you know it you're going to be on your way with the knight of wands. Now let's look at the other oracle cards. The uh, angel therapy card says crystals, the energy of crystals supports you and helps with your present situation. So I would definitely seek out some good crystals. Let me pull that book out and see if I can get more information for you about the crystals. This card presents a dual meaning with respect to the term crystal. One or both may apply to you, which you'll know by your inner reaction while hearing these words. First, this card represents the crystals of the mineral kingdom. These powerful beings emit, transmute, and magnify energies. For example, clear quartz can increase your psychic clarity. Black obsidian stone is an effective protector. Pink rose quartz opens your heart to love. And purple amethyst raises your spiritual vibrations. This card is asking you to work with crystal energy as you feel guided to, by yourself with the help of a crystal practitioner, or by conducting crystal healings for others. The second meaning relates to people who are considered crystalline themselves. That is, they are quiet and sensitive transmitters of healing energy. Most crystals are young children, so this card could indicate that you are parenting or working with a crystal child. You may also have crystal characteristics yourself, particularly if you are gentle, soft-spoken, and a nature lover. Go to a store that sells crystals and center yourself with prayer. Quietly walk around all of the precious stones, noticing which ones attract you visually and through your feeling senses. Run your hand above each crystal and observe whether its energy affects you. If a particular crystal captivates your attention, mentally ask it to give you a message and to send you pure healing energy. And I have purchased crystals online where the sellers will actually let you see a picture of individual crystals so that you can focus on the crystal to see if that's the one that you want to buy. In my experience, when you get a crystal, it, it gets sort of connected to you or programmed to you. So it doesn't actually, for me, it actually doesn't matter. Once you get the crystal or stone in your possession, you're going to clear it anyway under moonlight or sunlight or just clear water, although don't put any of these salts like selenite under water, they'll dissolve. But anything that's not a selenite uh, will not dissolve. Uh, not anything. Anyway, consult a crystal book. <laughs> I don't want all of your stones dissolving. Use moonlight and sunlight just to be safe. Anyway, what I'm saying is that if you can't get to a store, you can buy crystals and stones online safely, and the sellers are very happy to work with you in that case. All right, then the next card that we have is spiritual growth. So some of what you are going through right now has to do with your own path, spiritual growth. The angels are showing me that you are being tested. You're going through some difficult times, and this is testing maybe your faith a little bit and also your spiritual path and what you're going through. Don't despair. Remember, in the Five of Cups, two of the cups are upright. You're just too depleted to see it and to accept it and to use it. But ask for help from your angels. 
Ask especially Archangel Michael if you need help cutting cords with negative energies, but this is part of your spiritual path, understanding that when you have challenges in your life, that is exactly when you need to use your spiritual connections, your angels, your guides, your higher self. The next card says new love, and I would say this is probably a new love of yourself. This may be a relationship, but I would caution you against that. I would say right now you need to heal yourself and fall in love with yourself. The next card is, is the uh, Archangel Gabriel Oracle card, and it says time management. Place your priori priorities at the top of your to-do list and don't allow distractions to deter your focus. Beautiful. And let's see what else it says about that. You've been very busy, so this card is here to help you. A great deal of the creative process involves managing your time so that your priorities, such as your creative projects, are given daily attention. You are being guided to do an inventory of what's on your schedule that you could release to free up more time for your passions. Even an extra hour you can devote to creativity will invigorate you and renew your enthusiasm for life. Begin by making daily appointments or deadlines with yourself, which you commit to your calendar. Seeing these self-appointments will motivate you to reflect and hopefully also act upon your creative ideas and inspirations. So that's really, really good. And something else I wanted to check on the crystals card was yeah, so she wrote this probably around 2005, 2006. So that's, what, 14, 16 years ago or something, 15 years ago. So if you were a child back then, you're an adult now. And so the sensitivity that you have of being a crystalline being, you would be an adult now, not a young child. So I just wanted to clarify that for all of you who do feel like you are crystalline beings and that you are closer to light body than to, you know, the carbon-based beings. Okay, so that is the reading for those of you who picked the yellow calcite or honey calcite. Such a gorgeous star. And thank you so much for watching. All right, that's it for the angel readings, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. I love doing these readings. Have a wonderful, wonderful month. You'll see these angel readings again next month. Thank you again. I love all of you. Many blessings and much happiness to all of you. I hope this gave you some clarity, and I'll see you next time.